Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. We're looking at this uh, practice exam walkthrough. Um, we're looking at, here at question six, which is page six, and this is um, this question is about tools, um, their names and their usage. So what we have to do here, uh, we've just got two marks for each, so we just name an explanation of what it's used for. So the first one here, this tool here is a plane. Um, if we look at a plane here, a plane is basically it's got a heavy cast iron body. There is a blade in here. If we can just, I don't know if you can see that there, but this, this blade um, there just sticks up. It's adjusted by this wheel here so that the blade just sticks out by a small amount. I don't know if you can see that there. And then just takes off thin slivers of wood for smoothing and removing material. So um, we can say for plane it is used for um, removing material and smoothing wood. Okay, I hope you can see that. Let's move in a little bit closer there. Okay, um, next one. That's they're not numbered, but we'll just go. We'll work down here. This, of course, is a G clamp, and this is used for holding and. clamping materials so you might use it for clamping to a piece of wood um, for example in a pillar drill while you were um, drilling or you might use it for clamping to, uh, and holding two pieces of wood together so holding for holding a piece of work or clamping two pieces of wood together say if you were gluing two pieces of wood um, with some PVA glue and you're waiting for the glue to dry so that's G clamp so G clamp holding and clamping materials um, the next tool we've got here is a hack saw now the hack saw is another framed saw we've got one here and it has a um, fine tooth blade and it is not for cutting wood the hack saw is for cutting um, plastic and metals so and it's used for making straight um, cuts in metals and plastics um, and it says here which saw is used to cut metal, so we're going. Hacksaw. Um, so we've got two marks there. Hacksaw making straight cuts in metal. Next one, um, you should know this one, and this one's tenon saw. Um, and the tenon saw is used for making... You can see that. Uh, making straight cuts in wood. So this is a metal saw, this is a wood saw. Okay, they kind of do the same job really. Um, so there's two marks there. Uh, next piece of equipment is this. This is a tri-square. Basically it's got one, two, three points and it's 90 degrees. So we call it a tri square. The tri-square has got um, two main purposes. If we've got a bit of material like this and it's been cut we can, if you put it there and there we can check that this has been cut um, at right angles which if you actually just look closely there I don't know if you can see that um, there is a small gap there so we can see that that is slightly slightly cut out 
out of, out of square there. So if we were making something really fine from this, we'd perhaps sand this off to get it checked that it's absolutely square. And the other use for it is if we have a mark here, so we've measured a mark down and we want to measure across and around a piece of wood, we can measure it there, measure it there. And we should come back to where we start there. If you look there, you see we can measure that. And these, these lines will absolutely, that is a right angle in there. So measuring marking wood out at 90 degrees. So we can go, um, marking out and checking right angles. Okay, and last of all, this one, which again you should all know, wood vice, and that's for clamping and holding work. Okay, so there we go, two marks, two marks, two marks, two marks, two marks, and one mark for that. Okay, so that was um, question six, and that's tools, hand tools, and their uses. Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.